So hi, I'm Natalie Detoy. I'm a former Olympic and Paralympic swimmer. I was a very fortunate child um, and, and fortunate in, in terms of the people around me never ever said to me that I couldn't. Um, and it was an opportunity that I had found where I was possibly good at and that was swimming. And my brother was actually the swimmer in the family and I used to have to sit and watch him swim. And one day I said to my mom, I want to swim. And I got in the pool and it swam. And, and you know, I'm taking you back to when I was six years old now, but you know, qualifying for my first competition internationally when I was 12. Um, and then that was for the junior team and then 14 for the senior team. And I think, you know, for me, it was an ability to be able to, um, you know, I had, could go through my studies when I swam, so I, you know, I, that's how I learned. Um, I also, you know, got into pool and was able to forget about the world's problems um, in the swimming pool, and I was also able to do well. And I realised, I think, at a very young age, that the harder I swam and the more I trained, the better I did in competitions, and the better I did, the more I wanted to achieve. So it was a bit of a vicious cycle. So I can take you back to. To I guess 20, what was it? There was the 27th of February 2001, and uh, it was um, a morning. I was on my way from training to school when I was involved in a scooter accident. Um, you know, I think a lot of people say life changes forever, and a lot of people say, but how did you just get up? Um, and I often say that. You know, that day something happened. That day I knew that I'd lost my leg, even though a lot of people said that it was still there. Um, I knew what it looked like, I knew what it felt like. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't really aware of all the other um, damages to the same leg, um, which, they've, which they managed to keep. But at the same time, I think, you know, yes, I, I don't remember the week that I was in ICU. Um, I really remember just waking up with an amputation. And furthermore, my parents had organized for some disabled people to come visit me in the hospital and people that had taken part in sport. Um, and with that, I think, you know, 99% of them wished that their accident never happened. And there was one gentleman that, you know, that said that it doesn't deter him from going on and reaching his dreams and reaching his goals. And, you know, a little earlier I mentioned that um, I never had people in my life that said I couldn't. And it was always about, you know what, let's try. Let's get there, let's, let's see what you can do. And my coach, my family, my friends all said, get in and see. And, you know, they were all there um, and behind me um, from the day that I got into that pool. And my coach, um, you know, he eventually threw me out the pool and said, Natalie, it's, it's been, uh, you know, over an hour now. You're going to really, you know, be stiff tomorrow. So I think you should get out the pool. But from that side of things, that is kind of how I live my life. And as I said, you know, a person doesn't just get up and say, you know what, I had an accident, but I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Every day, it's a conscious decision to to get up and say, you know what, I'm putting this leg on, oh, I forgot to charge the battery, so I'm going to walk with a stiff leg for a while. But but it's every day, it's a conscious decision to get into that, you know, get up and, and go through life and, you know, work hard and just be, be you know, better myself every day. And I think that's kind of what I try and do. There are obviously days in which, you know, I'm down and, you know, nothing is going my way. And I know, you know, everyone talks about the moons that change and the stars that change um, and, and the reasons for it. But at the end of the day, I have to try and get through those patches. And just like one has to get through an accident or just like one has to get through missing a race when I was 14 years old at a major competition, it's how I bring down that time in order to carry on. So if something tragic happens, how little of a time can it take me to actually turn it around and become positive again? And that's kind of how I work through life. And the more challenges you go through, it's that you think, I'm not gonna be this yo-yo going up and down, but I'm gonna turn it around. And when I turn it around, I have to turn around and fly. Um, and that's what it's like for me for business now. That's what it's like for me for, for anything that I, I get involved in. And I'd really love to share that story with people because at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you as to what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. Um, I often um, used to have conversations with psychologists because they used to say to me, but Natalie, not everyone can do that. Um, and for me, I said, but, but why? You know, it's that conscious decision where you wake up and you say, I'm going to. Um, and so I had to understand that not everybody can just get up and say, I'm going to. Um, but you know, they can work through it and they can get help with that as well. So yes, going through an accident and changing your life, but sometimes it's 
how do I carry on with this change? And how can I make my life the best with this change in it? Actually, the last few years, I've been uh, involved in brand and marketing and communications. Um, and really important for me is building a brand as, as to I was built um, and, and was built from me. So it's important to go out there and grab a little bit more of what the people are about, what the companies are about, um, rather than just about what they would like to portray out there. So. That's been a passion and at the moment involved in social media um, as, as one part and a social media strategist, so it's taking businesses' brands and taking business plans um, and executing it in a social and uh, media space. And then also involved in a cryptocurrency for sport, which is something that's quite, uh, I think, on the brink of you know, the latest technology. And really what it is, is a value for value uh, economy and for, anything that is well for data that is um, put up into the cloud uh, the athletes will be rewarded in, the, in a cryptocurrency and other than that just trying to study trying to get my studies done and I guess a busy life um, you know from being a sports person back into business um, and having to catch up a lot of things that people did when they were a lot younger and I was not able to do. I think one thing that I would love to share is that we are just us we are not don't look at genders um, you know, at the end of the day, we have the ability and we are equal in many ways and we fight for, let's fight for women and let's get the men to also fight for the women and believe in the women and believe in everything that, that we're capable of achieving and we're capable of doing. Um, and it's okay to do all three at the same time. It's okay to be a mom, it's okay to, to do a sport, it's okay to, to be studying, it's okay to be working. It's okay and, and accept it and, and grow with it.